Hello everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update. I really hope you have been enjoying your weekend thus far. And so we'll be taking you through the latest in terms of what is going on across the Atlantic, re-weather conditions, the rainfall forecast for the Caribbean, the winds, the wave heights as well, and an update as it relates to the earthquakes across the region. So today there were two minor shake-ins, I would say nothing too crazy. And really it's been a very active area offshore of the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. So let's go to those first, after which we'll delve into the realm of weather. So here we're looking at the latest and we can see that there was a magnitude 3.7 earthquake this morning offshore of the Dominican Republic uh, near Punta Cana. So you can let me know if you felt this. It wasn't a strong shaking and I mean as those seismic waves travel they get weaker. So it's a high chance that only a very slight shaking would be felt maybe even just for a second or so. And I mean it was in the early morning and before that there was a, a slightly stronger quake of magnitude 3.9 to the north of the eastern section of Puerto Rico. So that was around 5.08 a.m. local time. Again, you can let me know in the comments if you felt it, but I mean, it's the weekend. And for those of us uh, who do not have anything much to do today, you may be sleeping in, maybe it's been an exhausting week and you're trying to recuperate and uh, rejuvenate as you prepare for the new week ahead. So maybe you haven't felt this, maybe you have, you can let me know in the comments. The good news, nothing crazy happened and uh, this is a seismically active area. So every now and again, as I mentioned in the previous update, uh, every now and again, there are shakings here about one every two days or so within this general area to the north of the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and even the Dominican Republic because the Caribbean plate and the North American plate, uh, those are tectonic plates which make up the crust or the surface of the earth. Uh, they are interacting with each other. They're always interacting. So we find that earthquakes happen there very often. Now let's head into the realm of weather, as I said, and here we're looking at the infrared satellite. We can see that front, which was bringing some storms to portions of Florida, and there is a low pressure system associated with it further up north that was bringing quite a bit of snow, rainfall, and even coastal flooding to portions of the northeastern U.S. But now we can see that much of this activity is offshore, but near Bermuda. So you guys, there may experience some increased rainfall activity and even those rougher seas as a result of that frontal system. Looking into the Caribbean, much is not going on. For the most part, these clouds coming in from the east may uh, bring some showers with them. And that's been the story for the southeastern islands, the Windward Islands, as of lately. Just some intermittent showers moving by every now and then, nothing intense. And uh, for many of us, it has been quite hot. There hasn't been much rainfall on a wide scale across the Caribbean, so it's been very hot and dry. We are in the dry season, by the way. Uh, we should see more as it relates to precipitation as we head towards April, May, and eventually into uh, the summer months when we have the most atmospheric instability and those tropical waves, eventually the hurricane season. So uh, for many of us that haven't been experiencing very windy conditions or even in those overcast skies with occasional showers, it's been very, very hot. I mean the most ideal weather if you are a beach lover, if you want to go out and have fun in the sun, but if not, then it, it may be quite miserable uh, for you. So we're going to also be looking at the next cool down for the Northern Caribbean. Unfortunately, this massive cool air from Canada, it doesn't exactly reach far south into the Caribbean to really influence the temperature too much. So we'll be looking at that update as well. But let us go ahead and talk about the rainfall forecast. Here we can see it from Euro. This is through to tomorrow morning around 6 a.m. Eastern time. And we can see that the map isn't too colorful for many of the Caribbean islands. It's really just Trinidad and Tobago, as we can see there. And near uh, Venezuela, where some increased moisture may be moving in and there could be some uh, more rainfall compared to the rest of the region. But for, as I said, it's been very dry for many of us and elsewhere across the Caribbean. There may be some occasional showers moving by here and there, even some overcast conditions as well. But for the most part, much rainfall is not expected. Uh, earlier today, there were those storms moving through portions of Florida and even offshore of the Bahamas, the northwestern Bahamas for northern South America. Some thunderstorms are developing this afternoon, but not on a very wide scale. So, uh, for example, across much of Venezuela, we can see that it is white, which indicates that it is unlikely that there's going to be any precipitation within the area. Let's look at the wind forecast. We can see it here. This is as we're going to be heading into later this evening. Some purple shadings across portions of the uh, Caribbean, even some blues popping up as well. So those wind gusts over 20 knots uh, for the eastern 
Islands, the Lesser Antilles, the ABC Islands, and offshore of Venezuela and Colombia. Over in the west, it's a bit more tranquil. And also with that front moving through, winds are kind of kicking up in portions of the Gulf uh, for Florida and even the northwestern Bahamas. And then with that, there is an increase in those wave heights. So, so waves up to around 7, 8, or even 9 feet at maximum across the Gulf. And especially off the East Coast, we can see some of those more uh, vibrant shadings, those oranges and those reds, uh, 13 going up to 15 or even 16 feet out there. But across much of the Caribbean islands, we can see that it's just these lighter shades of blues. So wave heights anywhere from uh, below a foot going up to one foot or even say three, four feet in height, a bit more active for Barbados. We can see those green shadings, so up to six or even seven feet at maximum. So that is what is expected, guys. Now, as it relates to the next potential cool down, first and foremost, sub-zero temperatures are going to be setting in for much of the United States. This is as we're going to be hitting into tomorrow and we can see these blue purple and some peach shadings in there as well so all that cold air advecting from canada uh, southward we can see that it's going to be spreading and even as we head into uh, later into next week still those below average temperatures across much of the u.s so again with that there's going to be some sub zero temperatures across some of the uh states which means that the temperatures are going to be lower than zero zero degrees so heading into the minus category there this cool down not expected to bring much impacts to the caribbean however as we head into the following week uh, this is for monday the 22nd and it's a forecast so there can be some changes we can see these below average temperatures expected uh, behind a front that may move out of the u.s uh, at the time late uh, in the coming week going into the following week and we can see all these blue shadings here so that may be a little spark of hope especially for us in the northern caribbean jamaica the cayman islands cuba going to the bahamas maybe even sections of hispaniola and if uh, and even for mexico as well uh, belize going to guatemala there may be some below average temperatures around the latter part of january so we'll be watching for that unfortunately for the eastern and southern islands of the caribbean Caribbean, not going to be too much of a difference in the temperature. So uh, that is just how it goes in the winter time with these fronts. Most of them don't bring substantial impacts to the southeastern Caribbean islands. So guys, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video. I really hope that you found it to be quite informative. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will respond to you once I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.